Hi friends, how is your heart doing? Is it ready for the holiest week of the year? I hope so. T-shirts. I think it's fascinating what you can learn about people from what is on their t-shirts. You can see what their jobs are, what schools they go to, or where their favorite vacation spots are. Or someone must really like music. Right here. Ah, a true nature lover. And someone must think LCOS is a great place. What you wear on the outside is pretty important. It sends a message that says who you are and what you are all about. Many years ago, large groups of Christians called Crusaders went on mission trips to Jerusalem. Their mission is another story for another time, but Jerusalem was a very important place for them, just like it is for us today. Because on the day we call Palm Sunday, Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. On the day we call Good Friday, Jesus was crucified on a cross just outside of Jerusalem. And on the day we call Easter Sunday, Jesus rose again from a tomb near Jerusalem. To identify themselves, the Crusaders didn't wear t-shirts, but they did wear tunics with this on them. It's called a Jerusalem cross. The large cross in the middle is a reminder that Jesus died for all people. The flat ends show that Jesus finished his work of salvation. The four small crosses are a sign that the good news of God's love should be spread to the four corners of the earth. Most of us probably will not go to Jerusalem, but we do know what Jesus did there. And because of his dying and rising again, God can claim us as his dearly loved children. Now we need to go out from wherever we are and share the amazing gospel of God's love and grace with everyone we meet. You may wear a cross on a necklace or a pin or even on a t-shirt but the most important place to keep it is in your heart. Then you will be ready for Holy Week and all the weeks to come. Next week, we will learn about one more cross. Well, actually two. So see you then. And remember, another word for cross is love.